everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound. Today we've got the sound system demo, the 2024 Chevy Silverado HD and its seven speaker Bose audio system. This is gonna be an in-depth review. We're gonna take a look at how the new infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments and controls, speaker locations, then we're gonna head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just wanna hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And I recommend listening with headphones so you can hear exactly what I hear in the driver's seat. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at it. Refreshed for the 2024 model year, finally getting that much nicer interior, the Chevy Silverado 2500 High Country here. I've already spent a good amount of time behind the wheel. We took this truck up to northern Michigan and back for a nice fun weekend of uh, four-wheeling and having a good time. We've got it for the rest of the week here. Chris is gonna do a fuel economy test, and of course we've got our DM review. So if you wanna see all those videos, check the link in the description. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files, but today they're not on a USB stick because I plugged my USB stick into the system and it didn't recognize it. I tried two different USBs, no recognition there, so that was a bit strange. So we are running through CarPlay, so it still should be uncompressed, lossless wave files. And we've still got my high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default. So let's take a look at those now. The excellent new Android automotive system here in the High Country Silverado. You can see on the left, you've got toggles for the great Google Maps built right in. You've got CarPlay, trailering screen, but we're down here in the media screen. Let's go up to sound settings. First, you've got an equalizer giving you bass, mid-range, and treble adjustments. Let's go through those. Below that, you've got a front rear left right fader and balance screen, and that's it for audio adjustments. For audio controls in the facelifted Silverado, you have this nice volume knob here. Sometimes it does hide behind the column shifter while you're driving, but it's got good clicks, easy to grab if you've got gloves or just bare hands. You've also got volume adjustments on the back right side of the wheel. For track selection, no physical track control here, so that's a bit disappointing, but if you're on the proper screen here, the media screen, you can tap the touch controls, or you've got physical controls on the back left of the wheel. For audio inputs in the Silverado, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth audio streaming, wired and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android, well, actually not Android Auto Support because this is an Android automotive system, so you've got a lot of your Android apps already built in, like Apple or Google Podcasts and that sort of thing. Uh, you do have USB-A and USB-C data ports in there, but as I said, wasn't working for my USB drive. And then you can install different applications via the Google Play Store to play things like Spotify or Tidal, those sort of things there. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, no disc player, but at the end of the day, that's got just about everything you need. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a seven speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a big old speaker grill there, one. Looks like they're trying to make it look a little fancier. Tweeter up there too. That's a mid-ranger in the door, by the way. Subwoofer under the center console, three, four, five over on the right side. And then in the back, you're just looking at six and seven in the doors. Surprised they didn't put a few more speakers in here for the high country model. A lot of the competitors from Ford and Ram giving you a much larger speaker count. But let's get this stuff put away and head out on the road.
many of you, including myself, might initially... Gosh darn it, stop. <laughs> it's tough to... Uh... Why is this happening? I hate when cars that don't have the USB ports work. It just makes my job so much more difficult. Anyway, you might scoff at the seven speakers only in this cabin, but they are seven very well-tuned and well-placed and calibrated speakers, and you can actually listen to some decently uh, complex music on this system and have it sound pretty good. Alyssa and I were jamming out to some Tool, some heavier rock music, and yeah, you might want, your, want to tweak the EQ just a little bit for your preferences, but these speakers are pretty darn capable and end up resulting in some pretty satisfying sounds, even though it's, uh, it's not that impressive of a speaker count. For this next track, we're gonna turn the bass all the way up and see how it sounds. my thoughts on the seven speaker bows here in the new facelifted 2500 Silverado. Really, this, this system does sound quite a bit better than you might expect. Unfortunately, it's not competing with the top B&O Unleashed in the Ford that I actually don't know if you can get in the heavy duty trucks. All I know is from the 1500 truck, it's definitely not competing there. And I know you can get a, a better Harman Kardon system from Ram in that HD, but that Harman Kardon system is a bit overhyped. So really, with some precise tuning into certain preferences, the Rams might be a little better, but honestly, I'm going with a very solid B rating for this Bose system here in this truck. I've enjoyed listening to it. Yeah, maybe it doesn't sound too great from the back seat or something, but despite me thinking, yeah, in a high country, $85,000 truck, maybe they should be doing more. They've also really perfected this Bose 7 speaker system the bass is good, the, the stage is good, and yeah, really not too bad. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the Silverado HD here, check the link in the description, and we'll see you on the next one. Um.
Charlie from Dion Sound, and as always, drive on. <laughs>